welcome to Everything Fly Fishing, the channel where we help you catch more fish the next time you're on the water. And we do that by bringing you amazing flies like the fly we have here for you today, the green drake. We've noticed on some of the creeks in our area the green drakes are starting to pop, so we figured we'd take a break from the, the nymphs, the mergers, and the on that, the new fly tying series, and we'll just get back to just the tying videos so we can bring you the ones we're using at the time. And right now, the green drakes are popping. Last week it was the slate drake, now it's the green drake, and we are ready with these babies. So, it's May, the green drakes are coming. Prepare yourself and stay to the end of this video where we bring you more information. And some tips on fishing this amazing fly. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down. Here's a little red square. Click that. All you have to do is click on there and it'll give you a chance to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Easy to subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss any of our upcoming tying videos or instructional fishing videos. Instructional on the water fishing videos. Well, anyway, that's enough. Make sure you stay to the end for more tips and advice. Let's get to the advice right now. We're going to start by debarbing the hook, and this will make it easier to take out the fish, and also, if you get in your skin, out of your skin. We're going to take 70 denier light cream thread, and we're going to start it. We're going to take it all the way back to the bed, and this is a size 10. 3x hook, dry fly hook. Now we're going to take the thread to about one fifth of the length of the hook shank. And this is where we're going to tie on this foam wing. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like foam wings. Why can't you use natural? Hey, well, let me tell you something. These foam wings, I can, cannot believe how incredible they work. If a fly lands on its side, and I, we noticed that when we were on the creek the other day, um, the, the flies were hatching, and on the kind of only one wing, they were laying on their side. And these foam wings would lay like that, and they would rail them. So these foam wings really work. So. Now, what you do, I'm gonna, how you tie these in, and well, this is how I do it. You lay it on top, and you start your finger eight. So you put, if this is your wing, you go one way this way, and you put one, so it make one X on top of the wing. Then I pull them up and make sure they're the same length, and then pull that tight, and then just figure eight them. And I figure eight them a lot, because I want these wings not to go anywhere. And you can't use head cement. Use head cement, it, the wings will eat through the wings, or uh, super glue will eat through them. So you just got to tie them on good with thread. And then you figure eight them. Then I wrap one thread wrap around the base of them so they stand up and they're not laying like a spinner. And then continue figure eight them until they, where they, got, they are where they want. Then they have to be directly on top of the hook. Um, so... I tie them into where I get one of them and then call good. Okay, you take your thread back, you get ready to tie your tail, and take it all the way back to the bend in the hook. And I'm going to use this, like, black and white turkey. Um, I don't know. They might be too thick of material. I'm going to find out. This is an experiment with me. So look forward to our fishing video 
so you know which one works better. You can also just use a couple, uh, couple, uh, uh, grizzly hackles, really long grizzly hackle fibers, and, uh, do the same way. And I wrap them, tie them in, and run wrap underneath, behind them, and underneath them to make them stick up. And that's how you tie the tails in. Okay, for the dubbing of this fly, I'm going to take some of the, a light green, and I'm going to take some cream, uh, yellowish cream color, and I'm going to mix these together to get the color I'm, I desire for my dubbing. And this will be a real, it'll be creamy, but it'll have just a tint of green in it. Now this turkey, we're going to use it once again. We used it on the March Brown in the same way. These uh, drakes have a black or brown, dark brownish segmented back and then a different colored belly. So we're going to take the, the turkey feather and cut it about a quarter inch wide and tail it, tie it in down to tip where it's tinier so that it goes right along with the body as it grows, the turkey will grow too. I'm going to tie it in at the tip. Somehow, I missed this, I uh, must have deleted the part out of the video, but when, at, before you tie the turkey in, you want to make a loop with your fly tying line, your fly tying thread, and tie it all the way back, and then it'll be your rib, but you want it doubled, so you want to take it back, loop it, and then tie it off, and then use that, it'll be your rib. I'm sorry I forgot to I delete that part out of the video, but you gotta make sure you put that rib in before you put the turkey in. Now we're gonna dub this fly. We're gonna take that dubbing mix that we made and we're gonna dub it. Now you want it to start small, get big, and then get it really at the end because that's what the bodies look. They taper from small to big. So that's how you wanna do your dubbing. I like to now you're gonna pull your turkey over and then I uh, tie it down right behind the wings and when I pull it over I like to lay it between the wings this makes sure it ends up directly on top of the hook and I pull it down and then tie it off right behind the wings and then cut it off the waist Now, I'm going to take that tying thread that you put back there. I forgot to show you in the video. You're going to twist it in your hands to make it so that it's thinner. You don't want the two threads coming apart, the two pieces of thread coming apart as you rib it. And you want to rib it. And when you rib this, I like to get the first couple wraps closer and get further apart and further apart and further apart, just like the natural does. All right, now for the hackle. I'm gonna start out with a light cream. I think it's more like a light ginger, but a light creamish hackle. And then I'm gonna tie in a grizzly hackle. Now the grizzly hackle does, because it's such a big fly, your grizzly hackle does not have to be the proper, it could be a smaller. Um, on these flies, a lot of the markings on the legs that you're representing, by using grizzly is at the base. The tips are just a regular plain color. So by using a smaller hackle, 
it'll look work just the same and that's how the time forever and they work Now that hackle slipped out of my fingers or it sometimes slips out or breaks off of the hackle pliers. Don't get mad. Just go back and rewrap it. Uh, I like to put these things in here to make sh sure that you know that these things happen to me too. I'm not going to edit it out like most tires. I'm going to tell you that these things happen to me. When you're done, tie off the grizzly and start on the cream. I like to hackle these flies up, and I'll explain to that at the end why I like to add a lot of hackle to these flies. Throw on your whip finishes, throw on two sets of whip finishes, uh, add head cement, if you do, yes, if you don't want to, don't. I put two sets of whip finishes on and I don't use head cement and they don't fly apart and I have a lot of luck with them, so it's up to you what you choose to do here. Now that's a really pretty green drake, ain't it? And I stand back and admire your work. It's a really pretty fly, and they work. I tied these up last year. They were still in the experimental state. I didn't know how they'd work. And I like them a lot better than the big deer hair suspended tails like I used to tie. These cast better, and... Anyway, we'll get to the end of the... bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems hey welcome back I hope you like that tying video these are amazing green drakes and I tied them up last year and I actually changed some of it. Um, I actually used a regular. Last year I used uh, crystal dubbing in the underbody and some of the selective trout of the wind take it. So, but they worked great. I mean, I did catch some amazing fish last year in the Drake Hatch. So, and like I said, they're coming off, and it's almost Memorial Day weekend here in Pennsylvania. When there is literally hundreds of fly fishermen on the water fishing the drake five feet apart. So I just wanted to bring this video for you. We will be fishing the drake before the main hatch. Like they're already on the water and it was already fish taking them. So like we've been going out in the next couple days of the weeks prior to the Labor or Memorial Day weekend because like I said it'll be crowded on the 30th and uh, around that time of the year and then you got kayaks and canoes and uh, all kinds of crap and you have the Drake guys crowding each other in, in the evening it's just take my word for it it's ridiculous here so we're tying these up because we're going to fish them up to then and like I said before you could tie these in using grizzly tail this is just an experiment and a material I'm going to tie these same flies, same wing, same body, everything up using just grizzly hackle fibers and I'm going to see which one does better and I will let you know when we bring you the fishing videos of that day which we should be 
recording pretty directly because uh, we don't want to wait till the massive crowds start hitting the creeks. So, um, yes, yeah, so a lot of the creeks are having them, uh, or they're here. Um, they're very sporadic, so it's not, I mean, it's not, the slates are still coming off, and we have them tied, uh, we tie them the same way with just a tan, a uh, little darker tan body, and the same wing, except we use a darker wing, and uh, that works for the slate, so you can tie them off, and be fishing them, they're hatching like crazy, we've been fishing them for a week, and they're uh, everywhere, so, tie them off like that and tie these in the green body. Tie them off in a darker brown body. Do the same thing. Just don't use a, a green wing. Use like a clear wing. Um, and you can tie them off for slates. And then you got the green drakes covered. So, um, another reason I like to hackle these flies really heavy is because when they're hatching, they kind of almost look just like this like I tied them when they're hatching except for sometimes they're laying on their side like I said but I like to hack them heavy and hit them really up with flow coating so they stay high in the water so that when a lot of times when the fish are rising they're hitting the ones that are hatching to look at like they're just riding down the creek like that but every once in a while they'll twitch because they're trying to dry the wings or something and that little movement in the fly will strike will uh, trigger a strike and sometimes very violent strikes. As I snapped one off the other day to slate because of that. But uh, um, so I like to ha hack them real heavy so that you can skate them across the surface. And this will help you out when they're like merging. You just tie one of these patterns on and uh, just to get a little twitch on it, and you'll see that they just rail them. And this is sometimes the little advantage of of you get by watching my channel we will tell you tips and secrets like this so if you definitely haven't subscribed you gotta subscribe you don't want to miss these tips and tricks I can keep, get you on the water catching more fish or if you're new maybe just on the water catching fish but we're gonna bring you a lot of tips and tricks like this on our channel so subscribe Still get 89% of my views come from non-subscribers. That means there's a lot of you guys watching my videos that aren't subscribing. But you want to. You don't want to miss time videos. And techniques that we're going to bring you on the water. And other videos. I got some new video ideas coming out. Um, for the summer. Um, new flies. We're going to teach some maybe crayfishes and stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe. And up in here, you can see our other videos. Make sure you do. You know you want to check out this video and that video and these videos. And you want to subscribe. Keep your lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip.